These are just some of the reviews of Phyllis's top-notch presentations. Phyllis Haynes also receives high ratings from global audiences, where they applaud her knowledge of new media and the ever-changing world of communications. The journalist's eyes and ears and mouth become the property of the world. And as our world becomes a global village, the journalist becomes the global currency. The people here are the people who are going to carry the information not only within your borders, but because of new technology, the information that you gather, the information that we all gather will go beyond our borders. And with that comes an enormous responsibility. It's no longer that you can sit comfortably and whisper to your next door neighbor a few bits of juicy information. Now when you whisper, you will be heard around the world. And some people will be responsible with that opportunity and some people may be irresponsible with that opportunity. But at least we have a chance if we begin to share with each other find some common ground, share some ground rules, say how we would like to be free in the practice of journalism, look at what our problems are, and look at what our promises are, then we have a hope for a future. Phyllis like her because she is known for getting to the point. It's time that we focus on the preservation of the judicial system. We ought to be looking at the intricacies of the law here, looking at what can be learned about the system. Mm -hmm. To play this as a black-white issue could cause a volatile response which is unnecessary. Today we conclude our week-long series of reports on infertility. Phyllis Haynes this morning takes a look at the moral, ethical, and legal problems raised by infertility treatments. Advances in the treatment of infertility... Yes, she's an award-winning producer and former ABC News correspondent. As technology brings us new ways to create life, a countless number of legal, ethical, and moral debates will have to take place. Phyllis Haynes, ABC News, New York. ...a particularly positive or accurate response. Not that you were wrong, Mr. Bataris, but I asked were there any diplomatic successes. And when we think of diplomacy, we think of treaties or new agreements. Have there been any diplomatic successes at all, Mr. Salisbury? I don't think there have been in that sense. I think, I think Norman is right in one sense that, that if you take the objectives of the Reagan administration, and one of them certainly was for the deployment of the missiles in Europe, they have achieved that objective. <laughs> Most important of all is what she brings to her transformative work with managers and employees. Now, every one of us has to hold the vision of democracy, of freedom, of the quality of life. Before the attacks on September 11th and the collapse of Enron, everyone was looking in just one direction. Now more than ever, what matters are sustainable results a deep sense of ethics, and a desire to share and help others build quality lives. That's all that really matters.